Robbins Air Force Base welcomed a new commander today. He'll oversee the logistics, medical, civil engineering, security, and mission support for the 78th Air Force Base Wing. Megan Western takes us inside today's change of command ceremony and introduces us to the base's newest leader. Reset. Local and state leaders gathered and family and friends shared music. As the 78th Air Base Wing says goodbye to Colonel Lindsey Droz and hello to Colonel Diedrich Reese. But the wing couldn't have asked for a better leader and I'm really excited to see where you take him. With more than 20 years in military experience, he recently left Florida, where he served as a commander for a special operations maintenance group at Hurlburt Field. Now in Warner Robins, he commands 17 staff agencies in several support squadrons, all while managing a budget of about $170 million and helping to innovate the force. What Diedrich has learned as a uh, Special Operations Command commando will be truly beneficial as we push our airmen out and deploy them in different ways. Lieutenant General Stacy Hawkins says Reese's philosophies of people first, people always will be essential, and Reese says he already feels at home. Every day in Middle Georgia is Armed Forces Appreciation Day. So thank you for that, Middle Georgia. Reese says he's dedicated to ensuring the well-being and security of more than 23,000 base airmen and their families. I'm committed to ensuring you're organized, trained, and equipped to support and execute this unique mission for which we are responsible. He says he will also help each airman serve at their maximum potential. I will keep you full focus on why we are here why we wear this uniform, and why our mission will not fail. In Warner Robins, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Colonel Drew served at Robins for two years. She will now serve at Wright-Patterson Base in Ohio. Lieutenant General Hawkins says she'll be remembered for improving housing and safety conditions and building key relationships throughout the base.